How's it going guys? Welcome back to Horus, the game about the sweet robot that just wants to learn his purpose in life. This is chapter two, the one where he tries to find his purpose. The next day, the old man said he wanted to install some more software, so he powered me down. Porn. When I came to, he said Mr. Porn, Silton porn. had a joke for me, and that I should pull his finger. Oh, he's gonna rip it right I off! I think I got the joke. So the old man powered me down again. <laughs> this time when well, I pulled Mr. We just, Silton's we should finger, reset his brain. I got the joke. But it wasn't very funny. The old man then explained that he had installed a special chip which allowed me to clean away anything that was broken. He said it also tells me how many things are nearby. And how many smaller things are in a bigger thing. It all That's what I was asking about last time. But he said all I really had to do was pause and it would bring up all the information I needed. He then said he wanted me to find and clean all of the items in the room. He told me there would be some chains to climb, but that would be nice and easy as I just had to press up. He then finished by saying when I had collected all the items, I should come back here. What is with this old man and setting up these ridiculous obstacle courses? Oh! Ten junk collected! That was fast! Achievement! Cleaning virgin! I'm already getting combos of things and stuff. Alright, well now I know how- no, no, I know how to climb. Oh, if your head is pushed up against the top like that, then you can't. You can't jump off. There we go. I'm, I'll, I'll get the hang of it eventually. It'll be fine. But yeah, I guess uh, I guess this game is legit just a cleanathon. But I guess it's much more than that, cause it's all about the actual story and everything. There's 81 junk here. I currently have 54. Lazarus revives 12. Have I died 12 times? Damn. Uh, learning my purpose, among many other things, the old man taught me my purpose in life. Oh. <laughs> This is, this is, oh crap, didn't realize there were still obstacles to worry about. This is much better than being a kill bot. The world genuinely could use a, a few clean bots. I mean, it has some these days. Didn't realize that was a thing, it just kind of happened incidentally. A hundred junk collected. I'm a hero. I don't know what to do. Okay. What? That count... This one made sense because you kind of busted open the car I just kind of landed on. I'm, one of, I'm trying to collect everything. Jeez, you guys. Oh, missed a couple of cans. A million is a lot. <laughs> it really is a lot, isn't it? It's going to be a recurring thing is how insanely a lot that is. That was a, a thousand? All right. Now I just have to do that, what, uh, a, a thousand more times? And then I will have collected a million. Oh, even this one that I jumped on, uh, jumped off of, I gotta collect as well. Junk here, I, like, does that mean in the screen I'm on or whatever? Or I guess, like, it counts the, the trash can or the trash bin as one thing, and then it's not until you step on it, or the car as one thing, and it's not until you step on it that you see how much is actually in there waiting for you. Ah, uh, I missed the bag. I don't want to let him down. I want to collect 100% 100 of all the stuff on this first level at the very least. And then from there I can worry more. I, I can decide whether or not I want to be a completionist because a million is insane. But for the time being, for the first level, because I want to make him proud. I want Heather to think I'm not just a loser. I to follow him outside. I was happy too, as it was a lovely hot day. Do you not, like, overheat really easily and become, like, an untouchable million degrees? The had been a like a hot co she car handle? A small barn with old bicycles and newspapers. Heather said, this would be a perfect chance to properly test my new powers. The old man thought for a second. Stretch to call said, them powers. Using the steptoe chip, I should find and clean at least 300 things. When we explained to Alice what we wanted to do, she seemed scared. <laughs> I don't know what her twitchy belt thing was. That. Well, the barn was stuck. I assume he's doing like, yeah, the, it's, oh, it's starting to smell. But seeing as she was just doing her crazy belt thing, it seemed like he was doing like a... 
<laughs> Everyone's just making there. weird noises she all of a sudden. Okay. One last thing, said the old man. If you want to use a door, just push up. When I was about to enter right, the old drop and do a push up. Mr. Makes Seddon sense. said he had seen some mushrooms growing inside. He asked me to give him any that I found. Mushrooms. He then winked, but I wasn't sure why. <laughs> Cleaning beginner. Oh man. Okay, that water just jumped straight in the water. Immediate death. Huh? I wanted to see if he could totally clear that. Well, I didn't really give it my all on this side with the fountain. They've really, they have an insane amount of fountains in their yard. Like, borderline too many. But now we're starting to get, oh man, we gotta clean all the bicycles, the big car and everything. Which looked like a DeLorean. Uh, I didn't mean to use the door, I didn't realize there was a door back there, so I guess I could come back. It's not a DeLorean. Just a, just a car. <laughs> Pretty standard looking car overall. Uh, this is kind of funny to have the classical music playing along with it now, too. I don't know how puzzle-heavy this game will be, or if it's more just about thoroughly cleaning everything. I just, I just really recently, and by that I mean like the last two days, two nights ago, re-watched Tenacious D and the Pick of Destiny for the first time in, uh, a couple of years. And it's really funny hearing this song and thinking of Classico. I... Just that was I hit it at the exact same point that time. But I'm fucking bad at this. <laughs> Cause if you think it's time to fucking rock and fucking roll out of control. <laughs> I I found some mushrooms for him then. <laughs> I can't really sing any of the song. One, I'm not a very good singer. Pretty much a zero good singer. But also, they are like the most most vulgar lyrics of all time. So it's uh, kind of begging to be demonetized, I would assume, if, uh, if you were to do anything like that. Come on, man. I guess you just, you just accept death at that point. There's probably a way to do it without. But you know what? I should just learn to, to accept it, just cope, and just know that it's gonna happen. Maybe I'll collect a million things and die a million times while I do it, and that'll kinda... It'll even out. I may have collected a million bottles and everything. I got it all. But, I I also will have left behind a, a million beautiful very corpses. happy with everything that I had cleaned. But I think Mr. Silton was even more happy with these <laughs> mushrooms. And legitimately, like they look like the Mario mushroom with the red and the white dots or whatever. Someone did eventually show me that that is a real mushroom that exists and it is a psychedelic mushroom. I don't think it's the one that people typically like magic mushrooms or whatever, but it is a real thing. He's so stoked about that. Ooh, what a the guy's a He's the one guy's name, Mr. Dick, Mr. Deck. He uh, he seems like he's a little bit surly. Stilton looks like he's an ass. He he'll, he's gonna sell it us for parts the days or something. Getting shorter, all the evenings getting colder. It was the falling leaves that really made me feel sad. Oh, he's learned sadness. As we watched the trees blowing in the breeze, the old lady said, "The leaves must fall before the blossom comes." She had already explained the seasons it's to me, so for once, I actually understood. For once. But it didn't make me feel any better. Always a step behind. The old... Oh god, is this? Is there a part of his brain where he's like, rather than growing up with the concept of seasons, the first time he's experiencing it is when he's already like an adult. So this character has to try and like cope with and understand that everything around him isn't dying, it's just like cycling, and that's like... Just, oh, poor touching Horus. Lady obviously heard enough of my moping and said, <laughs> Right, the fuck next up. week we're going to have a party. For some reason she insisted that we were all going to wear costumes. Heather was very excited and said, I've got some perfect ideas. Halloween. For some reason she insisted. I don't know what kind of crazy plan she was cooking up. Sounded like nonsense to me. <laughs> 
this is like a piano version of Halloween, the like the John Carpenter movie. Uh, like, well, I guess the original. It's weird because the original song is piano too, but this is like eight bitified in some way. What's going on with your mouth, this dude? Are you Charlie fun. Brown? Everyone was dressed like someone else. I think I was meant to be some kind of pumpkin, as everyone some kept kind shouting. Of it's the great pumpkin. Still, the great pumpkin at least patch. Mr. Silton was having fun telling everyone his joke. And <laughs> I suppose <laughs> Heather's costume was the quite finger. flattering. Sh Heather's dressed up as me! <gasps> After what seemed like forever, <laughs> everybody left, and things got back to normal. Heather was allowed there was to so watch much a packed scary into film that little before scene. she went to bed. But I heard to help Addison, Mr. Dick. Jo Joseph Campbell's Space Adventure. Uh, the space is written a little bit like Star Wars. Joseph Campbell, though, isn't really George lucas -y. There's something... Mole. Sontana Mole? I can't, I can't get anything out of that one. I don't know what that would be. Peanut. You love helping I wasn't clean happy up. about this, but the old man said if I was quick, then I could watch the end of the film with them. Does Horace have to sleep? Can't he watch the movie and then clean while you Alice guys are all in bed? And Mr. Deck was taking down the decorations, so I thought I should clean up the plates and glasses. Are either of them needed? I mean, they can do their other jobs still, but does it just make the most sense for me to just handle the cleaning? I mean, I'm looking at you struggling like crazy there, Mr. Deck, and it's like, maybe I should just handle this one. It seems like you're... The ear-splitting sound was the fire oh. alarm. As usual, Mr. Deck blamed Mr. Silton, saying he was probably smoking one of his jazz cigarettes. Jazz cigarettes. He's so bad at reaching the professor things. Appeared. He said that there was something burning in the kitchen. Horace, Alice you gotta confused, save everyone. Saying that she hadn't cooked anything. It's gotta be like the quicksilver seed in we whatever were all apocalypse. When Mr. Deck opened the oven, inside was a large black cloak and a slightly burnt pair of men's underwear. Suddenly, the old lady burst in. She looked terrified. She kept shouting, "There's someone on the roof!" Is it Mr. Silk? When we went outside. Because he was the one who was dressed up as, like, a Dracula. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, he was the one who had, like, the cape and the vampire costume. I'm laughing because there was, like, an interview with Norm MacDonald and Drew Barrymore where they both said that they like calling vampires Draculas, even though that's totally wrong in so many ways. It slowly became obvious it was Mr. Silton. Ah, what's going on? Is he all depressed? Did he, like, finally tell everybody his one joke? And he, like, realized that was it. He was out of material. There was nothing left for him. He, he couldn't keep telling that same joke forever. It slowly became obvious that it was Why did he chuck his shit in the oven, though? He was completely naked and playing his guitar. Gotcha. He He's on down. his shrooms or when something. I finish this song, I'm going to fly. The old lady said, oh my god, I know this one. There's only about 30 seconds left. The old man then I'm trying to see if I can recognize the song. I don't do. know. What the hell? Uh Okay, <laughs> I'm not meant to go through that. That was like there's no way through. Ah, okay. No one ever taught me that. I figured that one out on my own. I'm learning and growing. How do I know how f Oh, okay. That the the this I I couldn't understand how I was supposed to be reading the timer. I see now. Whoa. Okay, the the way that they're lacing all the story together and everything is super fun. Damn! Oh god, that doesn't like set the timer back to where I was before I screwed that up, does it? <gasps> oh, good jump, By Horace. By the time I had made it up to the roof, Mr. Silton was beside the edge. I tried to calm him down, but he was acting even more Maybe I should just caught him at the bottom. Oh god. Yeah, that's not good. I wouldn't react very well to that either. Yeah, that's- oh my goodness, no wonder he's losing his goddamn mind. Oh, good thing he just closed his eyes like, no, 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 no. Robot saves local, it, local idiot, not as important. Are you thinking too much? Smaller font, illegible. It's After the, it's the same also, sub-headlines. 
He said he had eaten some bad magic mushrooms. Part of me wondered why he hadn't doubled in size. <laughs> so, <laughs> the only exposure Horace has to magic mushrooms is Alice in Wonderland then. But I, I don't know. This is something I don't actually know. I don't know if there's such a thing as bad magic mushrooms. I think you have a bad trip on magic mushrooms. Uh, but that's funny Still, that Horace's pop culture is what he's viewing this through. One of them said he looked like the world's worst clown. Oh, I don't well, think Mr. Silver friend. liked that. Now he's too much of a so sour he told grape. his own joke. <laughs> but that just made the other paramedic call him Marshmallow Marso. I don't think he liked that either, but at least he was still in one. I thought piece. he was gonna find a lady friend there that the girl pa paramedic there was gonna like love it. Oh, this guy's such a prankster. Gray Magus King uh, Usur, I guess later, this is what I was playing. Last I Adventure. Video game. <laughs> Obviously, Final Fantasy. We also have Monkey's Island, which is very funny. Uh, I, I wish I could have seen a few more of what the, the character names were and everything, but I don't know Final Fantasy quite well enough to totally probably get those references. When the old man said he wanted me to come outside, he said it had been a year since I had arrived, so he had New a shoes. for me. He Wait, it had been a year since I came outside? Is that what he said? He then told me I should try to pick it up. Am I going to be, like, out of shape or something? Is that why he thinks I can't do it? Or does he just think this is some very elaborate trick? Oh, I feel like he's going to give me new shoes that let me jump better or something after I fail too many Try times. As I might. I couldn't reach the teddy bear. However, he looks happy. I still don't understand what happened next. I became a real boy. <laughs> Where's that gaze dropping to? Oh, shit. What? I thought I was looking at the box of new shoes. Oh, God. What's happening to Horace? He's like, can't process it. so suddenly what that's awful Pinocchio becoming a, a real boy oh did he just like shut down now everyone's trying to like coax him out of it Silton with his joke she reads him Pinocchio Oh god, everyone's like empathizing now with this robot who's like infinitely sad in a way that I don't think anyone expected. Even maybe the professor will have some empathy here. Put that hat on his head, it'll be like Frosty the Snowman. Yeah. She looked a little happy about it, like carrying on the memory of her, her husband. Oh, he's getting shipped off. Horace. Incorrect password. Does no one know what to do with him now? Is the password Horace? No, don't. It Look, he pulled out a mallet. Looked like he was going to disassemble or something. No! That was exactly what I didn't want to happen. The Garys. Garys are bringing in a coffin? Horace, you better wake up, dude. Oh, it's kind of like splitting the the two scenes here. We're having like the old man's funeral at the same time. Horace, you should have been there. I don't know who the tall guy is with all the hair.
really like the music in this scene. Oh, the the mirror cut between the coffin in the ground and Horus laying on the ground. System shut down complete. I forget what that's called, like a match cut, I think it's what it's called. It's very uh, cinematic. Don't put him in the bath. Oh, is he just like stuck in the storage now? Poor lonely Horus. He's gonna wake up and like none of these other characters are gonna be here anymore. Or Heather is gonna be like all grown or something. That's really also sad now too that Horace is going like completely forgotten. That wasn't meant to represent like a mushroom cloud or something, was it? Horace isn't like being stashed away through the apocalypse. Is he gonna become like a Wally? Where the rest of the world is dead and he's just trying to like... Ooh, this is neat. Some tricky stuff going on here. Just, I, I, feel like, I feel like he's gonna come too though. And the world's gonna be destroyed and then he just has to clean one million... What have yous? Oh man! The world is like re like shifting and everything. What the hell? Why is Horus in like all of history now? It looked like it was re becoming Pangea for a second and then like you know, Pan like the supercontinent before all the everything drifted apart and became the separate continents and countries and all that. Uh, it looked like it re became that. It like like it went back in time almost. Mushrooms, crazy Horus, and all sorts of shit going on. Is he like traveling through different video games and stuff now too? Oh god damn. I'm gonna be real glad I didn't personally smoke any sort of uh, jazz cigarette before any of this. Or is that just what he I experiences did. when he resets? Is this heaven? It sort of looked like the basement bathroom. <laughs> Yeah, that's heaven, man. Heaven is a basement bathroom. Didn't anyone ever tell you? Did he it just the like shoes the old man was going to give me? I thought I might as well put them on. They were just the right size. Is that whole thing with all the different himself the and the different man's art and everything? Me pretty good as well. I'm sure he wouldn't mind if I wore it. That may have just been his like power down reset Amazingly, sequence. The shoes allowed me to defy gravity, or maybe it was the hat. I was not anticipating the game to, to change like this. I was just trying to jump on top of those boxes. Oh, you can just kind of walk the edges too. Very uh, Inception-esque is what it, it reminds me of. Nothing is beautiful from every point of view. Chapter 3, My World Ripped Apart. Poor, poor Horace. I think for now I'm gonna keep breaking things up by chapters. I think that makes the most sense. The shoes are one power up of what is that, like 10 different possible power ups? I can't believe I've died 26 times. That's embarrassing. The game has not been difficult. Waking up somewhere unfamiliar, I attempted to make my way outside so I could find the people I knew and loved. Oh, he's just trying to get out of the basement. Well,. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're as excited about Horus as I am. It's such a emotional story about this silly little robot. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.